Well, in the first reading this morning, a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, um, he was talking there about who can understand the mind of God. And uh, very often, don't we give the impression that we know exactly what God is thinking? And we, we seem to be able, some of us at least, seem to be able to get inside the mind of God. Well, that's a, that's a waste of time, and that's a, a, a pretty presumptuous thing, thing to do or to say. Um, God is beyond our little finite minds and our way of, of thinking. And when we are confronted with something unusual happening, the best answer is, well, leave it, leave it to God. I don't un understand. Now, when it comes to, to the gospel this, this morning, um, it does, uh, talking there about unclean spirits, and we always immediately think, oh, this man was possessed, or it applies to somebody else. Well, have you ever thought, and we all need to think at times about the unclean spirits within our, ourselves. What kind of spirits might they be? Well, the spirits of prejudice, you know, how, how prejudiced we, we, we can be if we get um, against, against pe people um, and we condemn them no matter what. We're not prepared to uh, see any good they do. Very pre prejudiced. Uh, the, the spirit, and it is a, you know, the spirit of anger. Um, that's an unclean spirit. The spirit of, of greed. Um, the, the spirit of wanting, seeking power all, all the time. Uh, wanting the dominance, dominance over other people. These are all really unclean spirits. And what would be a good antidote to, to all, all those? And I think it would be, what would Jesus do? Or what would Jesus say if he met this person or was confronted with this situation? I find that very helpful in my own life. Uh, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus say? And try to act like he would. Um, we see that spirit of hatred and anger displayed every day we uh, turn on, on the news. Not just here in this country, but all, all over, all over the world. And whether we are aware of it or not, or realize it or not, that has an influence, an influence on us, and especially on people who are very impressionable. Um, we see it, you know, people almost taking up arms to uh, wage some kind of a war uh, uh, against other people. What, what spewing out hatred and spewing out anger can, can do to people. These, these are very prevalent, I feel, unclean spirits at the moment. And be aware of that, and don't be led astray. Like the man in the gospel this morning, don't be influenced by that.